Hello, and welcome to Kyber Shards, a 5th edition actual play show set in the Eberron campaign world. Casey, what happened last time? We fought, and then we talked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, there was a um, monster mechanical retriever thing, and it didn't actually come after us. It was trying to claw its way through a wall, so that was weird. Uh, we killed it anyways. Um and then we went through the gigantic doors, and as soon as we did, our very friendly neighborhood golem uh, turned turned around and on us. Um, but he stopped because the super nice elf that came back from the dead that works for Kulsir stopped mm-hmm. him. And then Ari had a nice long conversation with him that... Uh, Pog and Shade couldn't understand, but we are waiting for the word pomegranate to attack. Except Pog draws Ari sword. keeps Ari keeps <laughs> using it in other contexts. Uh, no, in the specific uh, <laughs> seems to undermine the uh, the power of it as a password. Demise is being very pediatric about the whole thing. It's true. Uh, yeah. So, um, you have all stepped into the large room. The specter is with Ari following mm-hmm. close by. And I'm bringing many. Uh, as soon as you have Callous all stepped of- into the room, uh, the golem walks over and heaves the doors closed again. Cool. Uh, Locking then- out Demise and Dane? Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. They came in. And then turns and stands with its back to the door, uh, watching you all. Oh, dear. It's super not like healing itself, right? You do know. You're literally the only one who would know. <laughs> it's. Uh, Cardane. Um, uh, steps off the walkway and walks across one of the large pools that are on either side of this walkway. The water is quite shallow. Uh, He walks over to um, back into the little slightly ruinous building thing that he was in. Uh, And what you find is the remnant of a room um, that's got work benches and work stations uh, and a lot of tools. Um, uh, You can see several items and minor magic items that are clearly of Kenneth construction lying across one of the work stations. Uh, and he walks over, um, and sets down the, the things he had in his hand and then turns back to you. All right. We will now find out whether you are telling the truth. Okay. Ari puts the hand up. Will you be so kind as to walk me through how you intend to confirm that? Just so I don't have any surprises on my end. And my friends don't get startled. I will magically compel you to speak the only truth. Okay, let me relay that to them. Ari turns around. He's going to do something magically that forces me to tell the truth. So if I say something that clearly makes him angry, insert red fruit of the underworld here. You, is it? Yes. There's not really a good ending to you telling all of the truth right now, right? Yes. It depends that. on the questions he asks. He, I'm only going to be compelled to tell the truth to the questions he asks. He's confused about the mark. So hopefully so he's question. Super not loving Colsier anymore. I don't know. We we haven't talked. We haven't breached that subject yet. So what have you been talking about this entire time? The it's fact. What, that he, never mind. Never mind. Don't. Just, we'll get into it later. Okay. Hopefully. Just. Okay. Uh, as we go into this <laughs> encounter, uh, I want to give everyone the opportunity to roll a check. Uh, to gain some useful information uh, before we start 
calling for roles that will be consequential. Oh, uh, so this right. can be things like insight, uh, history, since you're dealing with a historical figure. Uh, Arcana probably could come up with something. Um, perception. Persuasion uh, to make be, him fall in love? Uh, nope. Okay. Hey. Worked on What me, Colin man. says all the time, so. Yeah, shooters gotta shoot. I'll do an insight check mm. on him. Seventeen. Like to... Seventeen. Nice. And then I would like to do perception. Okay. <gasps> I would like to push to replace the one that I just rolled. Okay. Ooh. Fair enough. I'm going to push a second time. Very well. It's been a while since anybody pushed. Yeah, us. we haven't had a double I'll push. Cautious. In a I got, I, I have plus you, eight. You make yeah. things hit hard. Oh, gosh. Our enemies ah! are tickling us. Oh, boy. I don't have an inspiration to give you either. Oh, I have an inspiration. Spend it. Huzzah. Yeah. This is the one. This is the magic one. Four times, man. Oh, okay, 21 is much better than all of In the other rolls. In your face, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep us down. That's what you get for giving us resources to use. <laughs> oh. I don't... I don't know. Um, this is to find out information. It's to gain some sort of... Um, perhaps useful insight into this character as you prepare to have a consequential conversation with them. Would there be any use in me getting a better lay of his area? Sure. Uh, then I'm going to... I'm going to roll stealth mm, to try okay. to gain an advantage of knowing the lay of his area. I'm going to push. For a 19. All right. Uh, Pog, you notice, um, just scanning the area with a tactical mindset, uh, that along the walkway there are, well, there clearly were six. There is now five still standing. Uh, pillars. Um, each of which has the carved head of a, of a dragon kind of stylized uh, and projecting out of it. Um, you can tell pretty clearly that those are magical devices that would do something if commanded to. Um, and you can see that uh, a lot of this room seems to have, a lot of this big chamber seems to have a lot of magical devices sort of fixed into various places on the walls that would probably be very helpful if one was an extremely powerful artificer and had to fight in here. Hmm. So, uh, Casey, Shade observes that uh, one of Cardane's eyes appears to be made of a gem uh, that is glowing. <laughs> Great. A rocket <laughs> raccoon is not going to leave that alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, you want I'm it. going to get that eye. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and the and eye of Cardane sounds like an awesome artifact also. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> well, interestingly, that sparks a memory uh, from the tomb of Cardane, when Ari was asked what Cardane's greatest invention, greatest creation was, um, Ari answered accurately from a certain point of view, but not from the perspective of the death giant in the room, uh, that the Eye of Vidalia was 
Cardane's greatest invention. And so seeing Cardane with a gemstone eye makes you think of that. Um, Ari, insight. You had a 17 insight? Uh, yes. Uh, you read that he is... He's troubled by this conversation. Um, with the 17, as if... As if he perhaps believes you about the time more than he is giving out in conversation. Good. Okay. Uh, and, um, uh, Pog, what was your stealth check? Uh, 19? 19. Yeah, 19. Um, Colin and Eric, you can each set aside two D6s. Casey, you can set aside three. Those can be added to rolls without pushing at any point during this social encounter uh, to represent things you all have noticed that might be helpful to you. Cool. Sweet. Okay. All right. Real quick. Mm -hmm. Would you mind reminding me of what the eye of Vidalia mm -hmm. is Vidalia. Uh, so what you observed, what you heard in the room, in the tomb, was that the death giant said the eye of Vidalia was made uh, for a cursed rebel, uh, and that was what caused him to attack you. Um, uh. I know this might seem silly. I would allow Shade to make a history check to know more about this item or artifact. Uh, and I was honestly trying to think of some reason I could cause you to have advantage, but I can think of none. So. <laughs> it happened in the woods. It, we have a significant <laughs> library in the mansion that Ari would have like used to help her learn how to read. Cal tells me lots of stories, but not. Cal doesn't tell you a lot of history. Shooters are shoot, but the <laughs> library know. has <laughs> lots of tomes on history. <laughs> well, okay, tell me this, and just you decide <laughs> and answer honestly. Does Shade seek out books of history um, about the very distant ancient past in her reading uh, exercises? I mean, my initial thought was no, but finding out that she comes from the past after that, she would have sought a little bit more in that direction to try to get to, to know. Me. I will let you have advantage on this role. And we'll see if Shade has read something about Vidalia. She she did not with her first role. Oh, and it's worse oh. the second time. She right. thinks it's an onion. Uh, that's a... I know, that's exactly... <laughs> uh, yeah, a six is my six. high roll. Okay. Uh, you're free to push that or we'll move on. Oh. I'm going to push it. Okay. Cool. But it's just the four, right? I'm not. I'm not up to 16 for that. Correct. It's, it's different a role. new role. This is it, y'all. Here we go. Oh! And that's a that's one. Just, that's just one. You get I the advantage still. You still have I advantage. You, you get the advantage. One more. Over again. One, one more. Here, it is. Here we go. You went to the Big bottom. money. No whammies. No whammies. <laughs> whammies. Right. The there are, number in fact, appeared. whammies. A nine. It's a nine, at least. That is higher. So. Well, uh, that's four single digits, y'all. It is. <laughs> 
Uh, unless you're pushing again, we'll move on to. I'm not. Okay. I am not. Then that. Again. Then that is what you remember. You remember that the Death Giant uh, described Vidalia as a cursed rebel. Um, after Ari said that that was Cardane's greatest creation. Why am I so nervous right now? I am so nervous. I am like, <laughs> I feel like I'm just sweaty. So, <laughs> it's because you're all noticing how low your various resources are because you've had no rest. Uh, mm -hmm. And this has the potential to be a very significant combat encounter because that golem's in the room. Mm-hmm. That's that's why that, that's might, why that might be it. I'm really glad that you explained in such depth <laughs> for me because I always do better with a label. Yeah, over the, the stakes front of, my anxiety. of the conversation being laid out. It's just you know there. Thanks, man. Um, okay. Uh, Cardane turns to you, Ari, uh, and fixes you uh, with his gaze, uh, and the eye flashes brightly. Um. And uh, if you attempt to deceive, uh, you will be forced to make a saving throw, uh, or be forced, or or speak the truth. This is the way that this okay. works. It's not quite zone of truth, but so only if I attempt to deceive do I make the check. If you attempt to okay. deceive, you will have to make a save, and if you fail, you will. Instead, speak the truth. Gotcha. <clears throat> Where do you come from? Hmm, that's not his voice at all. <laughs> the continent known as Corvair. That is to the north. Who now rules Zindrik? No one rules it as an entire entity. We come from a city called Stormreach that's ruled by a small council of individuals, and then there are small cultures scattered about the island. Who were the interlopers who were in my workshop? Who Members of an organization. He gestures towards the, the items you'd notice on the, de on the desk. I can't say for certain because I didn't see them, but we were tracking members of a organization called House Caneth that are members of a larger organization called the Twelve that seek to uh, ensure the commercial success of all parties while also eradicating people like myself and my companions. Why would they seek to eradicate the Chosen? The term that we're called now are aberrants because our dragon marks are unpredictable and don't fall into the categories that the Twelve uh have the reason they are called the 12 is there are 12 different houses each house has a distinct mark uh that do the same thing whereas our marks are individualistic and uh sometimes more potent than theirs but it has nothing to do with cults here he turns his eye on um uh, Pog, what, do you speak giant? No, sir. Worked in common. Ari, seeing him glancing at companions, I'm the only one that can communicate with you, unfortunately, due to the language barrier. Giant is not a common tongue any longer. He turns towards you, Pog. And says in orc. Ah, nerds. Do your people rule the southern 
parts of the continent that your companion calls Corvair. My people? The orcs. I don't know my people. These are my people. Mm, you are an exile, I see. He turns to Shade and speaks in Sylvan. What is your connection to Sphinxes? Why? I wish to know. I am judging whether you are liars or agents of the rebels. Do you want to hurt them? I am asking questions, not answering questions. I have been saved by one multiple times in my life. You are from Shetiriyas Tolai. Yes. Or so I've been told. What do you mean by that? I don't I don't remember my time there. He returns to Ari. You say elves do not dwell only in Zindric anymore. Where do they dwell? There is a <clears throat> island continent called Arenal that um, is virtually if not actually exclusively elvish in population um and then they also have a small nation on the continent of corvair but also they've um they've integrated they i'm i am a half elf uh is what a lot of people would call my lineage uh they they have integrated into larger societies and they live all over Some people enjoy the self-deterministic nature of a place like Arenal or Valinar, which is their two nations, but others enjoy the freedom of moving where they like and being with whoever they like. He turns to Pog. Who gave you your mark? Would, uh, me? I get, I've always had it. It, it was there, and then, and then it did things. He steps over to his workstation and takes out a, a, a wand like tool um, and speaks some words in a language that makes no sense to any of you and then says in what sounds like common 
this will be simpler. What will be simpler? Yeah, no, uh, you heard it and I heard it, I think. Oh, okay. I understand now what's happening. I thought that was an ominous statement of like something was about to happen that was going to simplify. Now we're all yes. paralyzed and our skulls pop up. Pomegranate! <laughs> 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 all right. Our brains lift out through the hole in the top of our heads and he starts talking just to them. Um, can I ask you, you obviously were under the impression that the Dominion still stood and that you were returned here to work towards its benefit, I'm guessing, by Mirren? I was returned to my workshop to continue my work. What is your work? I am Royal Artificer to the Bright One. And is the Bright One Colseer? It is. So it, if there are titles that we aren't aware of, it's because he's been gone for a very long time. And so a lot of his, uh, a lot of the information around him has been lost. Um, do you, I am asking this question with sincerity and genuine curiosity without an agenda. If afforded the opportunity to work for yourself, would you take that opportunity or do you seek to continue to serve Colsier? Are you make a persuasion check? 25. Oh. And it's good with words. Individual ambition without service to a greater cause is worthless. I didn't say that. I think that there can be greater causes that aren't personified by an individual. It's not purely the individual. The Dominion is a good. The Dominion, though, is gone. So you keep saying, and I do not text that you are lying. So, either you are telling me the truth, or you are delusional, or something very strange is happening, and we are magically speaking to one another from different times. Cardane, I... I will lay out for you exactly what's happening. And if you want to hit me with your beam again to make sure I'm telling the truth, I welcome that. Um, the Dominion fell thousands of years ago. Somebody, I think Mirren, who brought you here, along with some other cronies, are seeking, or they have brought Kolsir back from the dead. So Kolsir has risen. His dominion has not. In the thousands of years since Kalsir has fallen and the dominion has fallen, life continued on. Like I said, the elves have founded two nations as well as integrating with all the peoples of Corvair. Humans, dwarves, orcs, goblins, all integrating, building a huge continent of many nations. Here on this island, there are little pockets of groups that have self-determined, established their own cultures, including a city here on the island that we live in. That is the greater good that we seek to protect and what we are in service of is our people in our city. That is a place for people that have been cast out and othered can live. 
Colsier wants his dominion back by virtue of destroying that, the greater good that we serve. I'm telling you this because I agree with you. Using your talents to serve something greater than you is the correct way to live. Selfish ambition for one's own glory is not something worth pursuing. What you describe as anarchy. Uh, no, the... we, there are rulers, there are laws, there are people, there is governance. Without unity, though, we could never achieve truly great things that, that we were to achieve. We were going but, to reach the moons. Cardane, I wasn't there. I will grant you that. But I like to think that I am a fairly learned individual. And I know how that unity was achieved and upon whose backs that greatness was built. We don't do that anymore. And so people can be people can live lives that they can be proud of and not feel forced to do something that they do not wish to do. And that's tr truth for virtually everyone. I haven't met every single person in the world, but at least everybody in the city we come from. So we'll know they will not reach the moons. They don't want to. They want to be happy and content. And there are people with ambition that make great things. And they're working on trying to catch up with you all. There's reason so many people come down here and look at the scraps you all left behind. Because you all did do great things. But there was a cost to that. Of course, there's always a cost for greatness. Sometimes the there's cost always. is too high. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Twenty-five. Wow. Man is good with words. It is. Saddening. To find oneself in a time where. The ambition of most people is mere contentment. I'm not trying to convince you to share that level of ambition and to bring yourself down. I am here to try and stop a lot of people from getting hurt. And if Cardane, if you want to continue pursuing your ambition and your work outside of the context of the Dominion. I think that's great and that's phenomenal. And I think a brilliant mind like yours could do incredible things. And I would do personally do anything I can to get you the resources you need. So you are working against the Dominion. The Dominion doesn't exist, Cardane. You are we working are... to stop its re return. Yes, because we serve something greater than ourselves. Mm. Uh, he turns and, and paces the room a little bit. Um... Pogashay, what are you doing? 
uh, adjusting my grip on the axe that's just been by my side. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, trying to, uh, trying to understand the scope here. Listening, looking around. Okay. Shade eyes a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, can can Ari make an insight check to kind of get a sense of? I was going to invite Shade to with her shade oh, eyes. Yeah, she goes yeah. called out shade eyes. Yeah, is he biting? Right. Remember, you have some free d sixes you can throw at things, and of course, other, aside from being able to push. <laughs> Guess we'll you. never know. I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend one of those d sixes. Okay. 16. Uh, Shade, you have the impression that while Ari is speaking very eloquently and is causing this guy a lot of dissonance, trying to convince him to see the Dominion the way that you see the Dominion is a losing battle. Um, he is definitely trying to create some sort of consonance between the world he knows and the world that Ari is describing. Uh, but he doesn't look like someone who's coming around to, well, maybe the thing I dedicated my life to was evil. Well, that's unfortunate. Not trying to convince him it's evil, just trying to convince him it's gone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I grant you, yeah, it was cool. It's not here anymore, and it's not coming back. We don't have Let's a way see, to that point is not that. necessarily obvious. What'd you say, Casey? I don't have a way to communicate that to y'all without. You could also him, say him. something. You're not obliged to whisper only in Ari's ear. Feel like the build of my character would uh disagree. <laughs> <laughs> not having persuasion does not forbid you from participating in conversations. Even I was consequential. Like, I don't think ones. I have no persuasion, but I do. I have zero persuasion. <laughs> I, I have plus four. I'm just not a guy who's talking a lot. It's the problem. <laughs> Okay. Uh, he is clearly thinking uh, as he paces, um, trying to work out what to do in this situation, given the information that you have provided him with. Shade would ask... Did Kulsir lead the Dominion in the way that you would have wanted him to? I was not involved in administration of the Empire things were necessarily done to maintain order. But there are times where things have to be done that one might deplore in hindsight, but focusing on the greater good to be achieved. Who was the good for? Everyone, all the subjects of the Dominion, unified 
behind a great idea. What was the idea? Except for the... And except for the ones that didn't get to see it because of the terrible things that had to be done for the good of the Dominion. Talk like rebels. Were there a lot of people that were happy about the Dominion? Of course. We made people's lives better. We ended wars. We brought peace and order and advancement and innovation and made possible things that no one would have ever dreamed of. And those sound amazing. Does the war that's coming and happening now, is that canceled out by the lack of war later? If, if we don't want war, you're saying we should war now to Elk. end it? The Elvish city-states would never have been destroyed if they had remained at peace with the Dominion in the first place. This is... Destroyed. That's not right. Yeah, that doesn't sound they like peace. They weren't. Not destroyed. It happened. Are you okay? Uh, now I would take an insight check from Yori. Or anyone else who would like to try and figure out I'm, what's going on. Yeah, feel free. I can, of course, help you. I just want to roll a dice. Good. Do it, man. Oh, I'm not helping, but I did it. You got you got pushes and you got D6s. You can throw I won't. So <laughs> no, has... no. Ari got this. Okay. <clears throat> uh it's like he said something up to a point and then realized that what he said was not <laughs> accurate and he's trying to backtrack and find what was wrong with the statement. You were saying the elven cities wouldn't have been destroyed if they would have just... But they weren't. They weren't. They were not destroyed. They... That is not what happened. What? Were and we got okay. subject and paid tribute, but benefited. And then <sighs> his pacing grows a little bit more intense. Have have we through our various interactions with folks? Is there any information we have? in relation to the state of the city-states of the elves and what happened to them? Like, Shay Tiras to lie, like... Yeah, I would take uh, history checks from anyone who wanted to make them. <laughs> I'm a negative one on history, man. I mean, I there's 20, there's 20 sides to that die, man. I'm gonna push. I am not a negative 13. one, but I rolled an eight, so... 13 is my history roll. Okay, you got d6s. You want to throw it at it? Throw at it? You know... Are you pushing, Ari? I got a 16 on my history is where, where I'm landing. And I used one of my D6s. I'm going to use one of my D6s to see if I can improve on yours. I cannot. 16 is the team roll. Okay. Um, this this fits. Ari and Pog, uh, you have spent a lot of time out at social events. Um, where performances would have taken place, some of them by Ari, um, but also by other people. Boo. And so you've probably heard it being, the continent being what it is, uh, plenty of stories about the Great Elf Rebellion. Uh, you know, with 16, you know a rough sketch of the history of the rebellion of the elves against the, against the giants. Uh, you know that 
um, the elves were subject to the giants, uh, paying tribute, providing labor, um, and lived in their own city-states within the Dominion. Places like Shaytiri Estelai and some of the others that you have heard of. And that at some point, and the timeline of this kind of thing is extremely murky to, to everyone, uh, at some point, one of the great disasters that befell the Dominion was that the elven city-states, or a large number of the elven city-states, chose to rebel against the Dominion. The war was very much of the insurgency type, um, the elves not being militarily a match for the giants of the Dominion. Uh, and the the probably the figure that figures most, hmm, that was a bad sentence, in <laughs> song and story is Vidalia, uh, who was the best known um, insurgent leader uh, and is kind of the patron saint of Valinar. Okay. Um, she's the, there are lots, it's like, if, I don't know, are you traveled a lot? If you ever met a Valinar elf who went by the last name Vidalia, it's all they talked about. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Having having her as your patron spirit Cross is a big elves. deal. Is a big, <laughs> <laughs> is a big deal for the Valinar. Yeah. Um, and you know that ultimately uh, Vidalia was killed. You've certainly heard stories of the death of Vidalia. And rather than uh, stay and face the doomsday weapons of the Dominion, a different elf named Aaron led the elves in an ex exodus to the island of Arenal. Um, and it was not long after this that further chaos befell the Dominion and it eventually yeah. collapsed. But the elves essentially fled the destruction of the Dominion rather than uh, it, partly because they were militarily not succeeding. And so the yeah. elven city-states are all ruinous, <clears throat> but whether that's because giants destroyed them, dragons destroyed them, or one of the 8,000 other magical cataclysms that befell the continent <laughs> destroyed them, it's hard to say. Gotcha. So yeah, Ari would say, well, they rebelled, right, Cardane? They rose up against the Dominion. Led, I mean, yes, some of them were, some of them became misguided. Yes, like Vidalia was a large part of that, right? Ooh, Vida like like your eye. My eye. We had heard about the eye of Vidalia being one of your greatest creations. I don't. I don't know that name. What's the last thing you remember, Cardane? Before being woken up. I was here in my workshop. Was anybody with you? here, but I can't see them. I keep losing the voice, but I can't see them. Is it possible that <clears throat> there are things that somebody doesn't want you to remember? Logically, I cannot answer that question, because if there are things that someone has prevented me from remembering, then I do not remember them. It sounds like you're it's identifying some blank spots in your recollection. Such, such magic exists. I know. I, yeah. I've done it. You have done, done with. You have done what? 
I, my mark allows me to peer into people's minds and I've actually never consciously done it, but I have the ability to affect people's memories. The eye brightens and he stares fixedly at you. Say that again. I have had the capacity to alter people's memories, but have never consciously done it to another person. You can do this. You can alter the state of someone's memory. I, I used to be able to. I can't anymore. It's a whole weird thing with my patron as a warlock, but yeah, used to lost the ability, but since I have known you, I have not had that ability, if that's your concern. I thought perhaps you could restore it if such a thing had been done. Unfortunately, I'm not aware of any other than some kind of restorative magic. I would take an arcana check if you would like okay. to know how one could. Woof. Uh, I'm going to push that because that's a natural one. going to push again. You have one more D6. Yep. 24. Whew. Uh, the DC 25, I'll use my D6. <laughs> <laughs> A road. It's interesting. Uh, no, DC, then you, you, you have passed. Okay. You know that there is a spell you are aware of that is within the capacity of a warlock that will undo any modification to a creature's memory. And that is remove curse. Remove curse, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if it's been done to you, then the spell remove curse could undo that magic. Um, I don't have that spell on me, unfortunately. But I could get you to someone that could cast it. Yeah. Does Demise have it? <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Demise, a uh, little help? Please? Make a persuasion check, Ari. With disadvantage. <laughs> well, 31 is my the first please roll. Let's see if wasn't enough. 31. 14. Yeah. Uh, I'll use my D6. Okay. I'll use my last D6. 16. <sighs> if I do this, These tools of his in this workshop. They will go to the claw by my hand. Is she saying these out, these words out loud? Like, She's saying it out, out loud in Elvish, yeah. Oh, so I does he not speak Elvish? He definitely speaks uh, Elvish. She's not very concerned no. about that. I don't know what's being said then. Ari looks at <clears throat> Cardane as she says this. This is the price of your servant's magic. 
She's not my servant. Yo, She's what? a temporary ally. <sighs> there was a misunderstanding. Giant translation. It gets complicated. Perhaps not all of the tools. I just, Perhaps I just realized you're speaking giant and you apparently are attempting to refer to her as a temporary utility ally. Mm -hmm. um, this is Stratos. Here yes. called her a Stratos, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a podcast joke for anyone. He said a thing. Listen to <laughs> everyone renewed. That, uh, find the merch, Eric. Country. There's merch near you somewhere with it. <laughs> uh, He considers. <clears throat> there is nothing here I cannot replace. If your source, if this, if this mage requires these tools as the price of this magic, and it works, I think we can agree on that. We will agree. If it works, then transaction right demise if it doesn't work then agreed cool don't love that what's happening? oh i right hate now? it but i don't have remove curse on me so what's she happening? walks what's forward happening? and uh you see the skeletal arm rise the fingers click a little bit uh and this greenish glow Go forms away. on it she reaches out and lays the bone fingers against his face oh yes someone has done a lot of work in here and you watch as Cardane's face changes and she steps back and considers him impassively from behind her mask she was here. He... She wanted me to go with her. We argued. He killed her. spell I made. I do not know. I do not know if what I remember now is true. You may be deceiving me still. Hit her with the I... I beam. I must consider this. I will not prevent you leaving this place, but you must go soon. I will go now. I have questions that need answering. The constructs here will not hinder your departure, but tell them to go with you. They are alive and I would not see them destroyed okay <clears throat> I must consider what you have said we will meet again and either I will extract my vengeance for this deception or I will provide you with 
some reward for this truth. I'm... I'm sorry. I, I'm better with with body pain than brain pain, so I, I, I know sad, and I'm, I'm sorry that you're sad. That's all. I just... I know that feeling. Let's, uh... Do my eyes gather what? He raises a hand comes. and gestures, and a glowing archway opens in the air. I will go this way. You should go out by the swiftest path. Noted. And he touches something on the wall and then steps through the gate, which closes behind him. And the thing he touched on the wall begins <clears throat> changing shapes. Is that the, yeah. the things that I noticed on the wall? Yeah. We should, uh, we should okay. run. We should go. Everything in this place is about to come down, and we got to go now. Dem Demise sweeps a whole bunch of stuff into a satchel. Uh, hey, you guys. Turns to, the, to the constructs that he asked the us to save. The constructs turn... Turn as one. Did we hear? Are, are like you hear, or we'll get there. Uh, can, follow follow me. Follow me. We're getting to safety. We shall. Can't, can't they show us the way out? We just the fastest way out. The way out was the way in. Is it? That's the fastest. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's the way we know. <laughs> running. Uh, you all hurry. Uh, as as you are going, um, bits of the place begin trembling under your feet, um, uh, and you uh, hurry back through the rooms you have been through, uh, around, up, out the exit, down the stairs, uh, and looking back, you see the strangest thing. Um, you know the shape of a ziggurat. It's as if the ziggurat collapses, but not in the sense of it falls in. The top level slowly sinks down into the next level, which wow. slowly sinks down into the next level, which slowly sinks down into the next level. Uh, and within about 10 minutes, you're looking at a flat space in the jungle. I think we did it and we didn't at the same time, right? Yeah, it you want to know the worst part about way. all of that is Eric realized he didn't pick all of his spells from last level up, so I could have picked remove curse during that interaction, but uh, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I guess Let's just kill demise. Anyone else we, think? Um, anyone else think we just left a bunch of House Kenneth engineers trapped behind a wall in there? Oh, good. So we did do it. Yes. No, I'm not yeah. Sorry, exactly. But yeah, but I don't know. Doesn't feel great. No, it feels better oh, that's if not you what stab I meant. him in I the face. We could, have, we could have asked questions then. first. Oh. We could have found things out first and then and killed them. I don't know. I feel pretty good about the fact that there might still be a world to save. I, I think I, I think we should go. I don't know what else might happen next or when the rest of that tribe of drow we killed a bunch of <laughs> on the way in will show up. Yeah. Hey, do you guys have somewhere that you can go and want to go? Oh, the we shall We shall go to another of our makers facilities. The voice of these creatures is very familiar. Inside check. Sure. Somebody who does that, maybe? <laughs> you got another D6 I mean, to throw at it? I do, but yeah, you know what? They're the, going to go 19, away, right? I was going to say, there's nothing to it. 23. They're going to go away. I don't know why I rolled it. Okay, I used them. Uh, Casey, the voice of voices of these Warforged sound identical to Forge. Yeah. They have Forge's voice. Is that where you all would want to go, or would you like to go somewhere else? Yes, that is where we would go. 
the where you want to go because we have a place that could use some help and we have other places that could use some help and there's other things you could do but just go back to where you know you are perplexing uh, yep. and yeah. they and they turn and walk in perfect synchronized movements off into the jungle bye, bye clone troopers <clears throat> can I thought they were going to come we should, with us. We should get back to the ship. I am yes. very hungry right now. I don't yeah. know why it just hit me That's all of a sudden. That's not why, but yeah. I, know <laughs> I wasn't arguing. Europe. Two things can be true, Dane. So what all have you got there, Demise? Any idea? I haven't had time to examine them. I'll bring them to the claw. and That should at least make this not a wasted trip. Hey, can we have our communicator back just as a sign of, you know, you got a lot of new toys there and. Yes, and I used to have both of my own arms. Okay, that wasn't me. Well. Look, no. come on. You, I mean. I'm not going to say I'm sorry. It, uh, we we it had did. this talk at the and moment. I am I not going to give your, con your communicator back. She says as she boards the ship. Rude. Well. Uh, Dane gets behind the pilot seat. Uh, the ship takes off and flies you all back to Stormreach in the Blackbird. I mean, the airship. <laughs> X-Men joke. Da -na 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 -na. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this Ooh. episode of Kyber Shards. Uh, if you'd like to get in touch with us, you can find links to all of our social media and including to the Geek Pantheon Patreon and our work our, uh, merch store down in the description below, uh, as well as a link to the Geek Pantheon's YouTube channel where you'll find Eric making videos about TTRPGs and to Colin's Twitch where he is sorry, BTR, the O in that is a zero. New what? episodes of Kyber Shards. Mm -hmm. I know, it's crazy. New Got episodes it. of Kyber Shards drop every Monday. New Kyber Shards answers on Fridays. And until next time, thanks for rolling with us.